Hello people, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Adeju Ibeolu Abusola. I am a final year medical student and baker. I make videos about medicine, about lifestyle, food, travel, and everything in between basically. Today, like the title says, we are going to be discussing how to get into medical school in Nigeria. First of all, I don't really see a lot of content out there explaining in detail how you can get into a medical school in Nigeria. So I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to be focusing more on public medical schools in Nigeria and um, not really talking in depth about um, private medical schools because I am in a federal medical school about Femi Awolo University and I feel like I can speak more about that because I have more knowledge about that. So if you are in secondary school, if you are straight out of secondary school, if you are doing a degree but you still want to pursue um, medicine or you still want to study medicine, please keep watching. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it um, answers a lot of your questions. So yeah, let's go into the video. To get into a medical school in Nigeria, first of all, you need to decide which medical school you want to go in Nigeria. And um, so there are private medical schools and there are public medical schools. The public medical schools are um they could be federal or state owned so it depends on which one you want to go and there are private medical schools also um a lot of them actually are coming up and are getting accreditation to to train um future doctors so the opportunities are becoming a lot more before we continue i would just like to give the pros and cons of these two types of medical schools in nigeria um, so that before you even start applying, you you already have an idea of what you are getting yourself into. First of all, for universities, for public medical schools in Nigeria, the pros are there are a lot. Um, the first one is that it is very very cheap. Getting a medical degree in a public university in Nigeria is extremely cheap. It ranges from twenty thousand naira per year to I think about 400,000 naira per year. So yeah, it's really cheap. My own university, um, which is Obafemi Aulo University, is like below 50,000 naira per year. I pay below 50,000 naira per year every year to get a medical education. The other thing is that we have the best teaching hospitals. Our medical schools are affiliated to teaching hospitals that are basically the best in Nigeria. They are the federal hospitals where you have the brightest minds. You get to be taught by um, the best of the best. People who patients travel from all over um, the country to see, those are your teachers and those are the people that you work in pr close proximity with, basically. So you get that kind of education at a cheap price um so yeah it is the pro is the pros are very very enticing now for the cons of entering a public medical school in nigeria the first thing is that it is very hard the competition to get into a medical school like my school is insane it is very crazy a lot like hundreds thousands of people every year apply to enter into these schools and they don't get admissions they like basically admit just a few a handful of the applicants so it is the it is very cutthroat the the competition is insane for medical schools here another thing that is a con is the fact that i'm very sorry guys i lost the rest of this footage but i was just saying that because they are public universities they things like union strikes affect us so if doctors lecturers non-academic staff and even student union are on strike then the school shuts down this then extends uh, the duration of our sessions and it makes us stay longer in school than people in private universities. So that is also a con. The pros for entering into a 
private medical school in Nigeria is that first of all it is easier to enter into a private medical school in Nigeria it is easier than um, entering into a public medical school in Nigeria um, the admission process is less stressful less competitive the cons for um, entering into a private medical school in Nigeria basically is first of all it is very expensive the last time I checked I think um, the range between um, I think 1.5 million era to as high as 5 million era every year so it is extremely it is very very expensive it is not for the average Nigerian another con is that most of these private universities don't really have um, top-notch affiliate hospitals that work hand in hand with them so the training is not as great compared to what you would get in a public university even though i see that changing now in fact it is already changing now because a lot of these private medical schools are getting their own hospitals they are getting a lot of very very good consultants very good professors to come and lecture their students so it's changing but as at now relatively it is still better in public universities so now that that is settled how do you get into a medical school in nigeria you have a lot of options there are a lot of different options into entry medical school but i'm going to be discussing the three that i know well um the first one is entering directly from secondary school the second option is doing a pre-degree course and then entering into the medical school of your choice and then the third option is doing a direct entry basically this is for people who already have degrees um say degree in biochemistry microbiology and then wants to enter into a medical school to enter directly from um, secondary school first of all every secondary school student is mandated to take a WAEC exam or uh, they call it WASE West African secondary school certificate examination I'm not sure I'll put it I'll put it right there and also the UTME so those two exams need to be taken um, I don't really hear very much about NECO these days I'm not sure I, I I'm not really sure about NECO I'm very sure that a lot of or almost every university still uses it but the major ones are WAEC and UTME so um to enter for example in my school right to enter into medical school in my school you need to have your WAEC exam you need to have your utme that's your jamb exam and then you write the post utme every individual public university they have their own um post utme exam where they further filter um, the applicants to their schools so specifically for my school what they do is they take into consideration your WIAC exam your UTME and your post UTME your WIAC takes 10% your UTME takes 50% and your post UTME takes 40% so now a cutoff is set every year the cutoff is different every year but it is definitely I don't think there's ever there has ever been a year that, that has been below 70% before but there's always a cutoff that is always pretty high so what people are advised to do basically is to try and get as high as they possibly can because the competition and that was why i said the competition is very cut through the other option is to go through pre-degree now in my opinion this is my least favorite one and i'm going to explain to you why but first of all let me explain how pre-degree works so basically what what pre-degree is about is you spend one year in pre-degree school basically doing um sort of like secondary school courses but like a bridge between secondary school courses and university courses and after that year you do an exam i think you do you do two or three exams and your um and your results basically is used to apply into the university where you did that pre-degree not another university that same university is where you apply to apart from the exam you do during pre-degree you still need to do 
your jump exam like you still need to write your jump exam and that is also still used basically the only thing that you don't do in pre-degree is do the post UTME that's the only thing you don't do that's the only exam you don't do the reason why I said that entering through pre-degree is my least favorite option is basically the fact that um, I think before it used to be better like before it used to be just your pre-degree results and yeah you are still mandated to do um utme but you just need to score like borderline scores like 200 or 200 and something just like just pass your utme you don't need to have high scores in them but now it has gotten so competitive that you need to have high scores in your utme also like the competition is that much so basically people are people enter into pre-degree usually because they want like a particular course that they were not given when they when they try to apply straight out of secondary school so they just go in through pre-degree and try to get that major course like and by major courses i mean like courses that are like particularly difficult to get into like medicine dentistry um pharmacy law you know all of those courses and the thing is that um now it is so competitive because everybody coming there it is like a concentration of people who want that course so it's like and like a field trade basically of people who want like the courses that you want and the slots given to um pre-degree they are limited so basically i think every year they give about say 20 slots for medicine through pre-degree so imagine if you have say 100 or 200 pre-degree students trying to get into medicine and their cut off just basically depends on the higher score so it doesn't even matter oh okay i had um an 80 if you have 10 20 people having 82s then they pick the 82 and you are left you are left out in the cold basically so that's why it's my least favorite one but it still works for for people you know and yeah it is still an option so you should totally explore that option then the third and final option is going through direct entry this is for majorly for people who are already in university who are already doing a course but who still really 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 want to do medicine who still feel like you know medicine is my calling like the course i'm doing is not the course i like i need to be doing so basically what they do is they finish their, that course they get their degree i have a lot of friends who have done that who are doing who are doing medicine now after getting a degree then they apply through direct entry the plus to this is that you don't enter into 100 level you don't start from scratch you start from 200 level basically so like once you're admitted they also have exams that they do for different universities and um, different cutoff marks and once you're admitted you just enter straight into 200 level and you hit the ground running for private universities private universities also like um, public universities you need your work and you need your um utme your that's your jambi exam every university needs that but also they also have their own entrance exams individual entrance exams that they write and they are also cut off marks i don't really know um in depth about any of them but they are cut off marks and they admit based on that but the competition there is not as um crazy as the competitions in public unis so um yeah it is definitely an option to consider i don't i'm not I'm, i don't really belong to that school of thought that um people have where people who are in um public universities are way better than people who are in private or, um universities or they are way smarter i don't believe that to be very honest and things are changing very rapidly um private universities are really coming up they are they are becoming like i think for a while now covenant university has been ranked um, one of the highest universities, one of the top universities in Nigeria, and it is a private university. So um, things are really changing. Things are getting better. So don't do not write off private universities from um, your mind, especially if you can afford it. Finally, I would like to say, first of all, um, medicine is not. 
medicine is not um a course that you just do because just because like you don't just like randomly apply to medicine because oh yeah my sister is a doctor or all my cousins are doctors or my mommy wants me to be a doctor or eh, i like Grey's anatomy <laughs> if you are thinking that you need to erase that like just erase completely delete it from your from your mind like do not enter into medicine if it is not something you are very very passionate about because it is a it is a crazy ride i will tell you even getting in is already crazy enough and the thing is that you you really think that after you get in it's just going to be smooth sailing from there but trust me like the battle has just begun so it is not something you go into on a whim it's not something that you just do just because or like you just gamble into i know a lot of people have done it and they have like graduated but i have a lot of friends who are um, in medical school who have left medical school and they do not want to practice medicine anymore like and the stress of medical school itself is not something you just randomly do it is at least six years of your life at least six years of your life so um make sure like you need to like do a lot of um soul searching and just like look very deep and be sure that you even want to study medicine before you start applying before you start thinking about applying because yeah you will need that determination and that passion when things get get difficult and trust me they will <laughs> like things will get very difficult so you need all of that determination all of that passion to keep you going i hope you enjoyed this video i have spoken to a couple of my classmates and not even just my classmates like other people in um, my medical school and they have been very kind to offer to help you if you still need like um basically someone to talk to about getting into medical school if you are looking to get into medical school and you are a bit confused or you just need like some guidance basically on what you should or what you should not do um we'll be very very happy to help you please email me my contact is in the description box email me and i'll be sure to direct you to one of these very brilliant amazing people thank you for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe please make sure you share with your family and friends especially your friends or people you know who want to get into medical school who want to become doctors and yeah thank you very much i'll see you in my next one bye